Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, Your Way Slam Reviewer, and I'm here to review Sunlit Night. And this is a film starring Jenny Slate as a young woman whose whole status quo of her life is kind of shaken up when she finds out that her parents split up and her sister's getting married. Because at this point at the beginning of the film, they all still live together in a small apartment in New York. So, she's a painter, she needs to find something to do. So she winds up going off internationally and getting a job painting a barn with another painter and all these different little kinds of things start to ensue including her falling in love with the young man that she meets over there, her getting involved at this strange Viking museum for some reason the proprietor of is Zach Galifianakis who feels really out of place in this film and Honestly, there's just a lot of plot threads that I don't know by the end they really cohesively come together. But the most positive thing that I can say about Sunlit Night is the really strong performance from Jenny Slate. Her leading performance in this film is endearing and emotional and you really figure out ways of seeing that character. But the thing is she's surrounded by a whole bunch of other characters. You don't really get to see a whole lot into the painter that she's working with. For some reason, Zach Galifianakis is just there and feels really out of place here, like I mentioned before. And, like, is he supposed to be comic relief? Because he isn't really that funny in this film. And, like, Jillian Anderson's in this, too. And... She's the mother of this young man that she starts falling in love with, but she really doesn't get a whole lot to do. This relationship between Jenny Slate's character and Alex Sharp, who's this young Russian man, there's some moments in terms of you getting to know them and them falling for each other, but I never once felt super invested in this budding relationship between the two of them. And in the end, I didn't really care much about anything except for Jenny Slate and her trying to figure out her life. And by the end, I don't know how much is actually progressed in her life or what she's figured out. She becomes more confident in herself, but by the end of this film, it's like, what if consequence really happened? And did enough of it hit hard or hit well enough for you to feel this growth that's supposed to be there for Jenny Slate's character. In the end, Sunlit Night is just kind of meandering along following Jenny Slate in this odd situation. And I don't know how much I really enjoyed this film because I don't feel like I got a whole lot out of it. So really, my thoughts on the Sunlit Night is it's a nice performance surrounded by a whole lot of nothing, honestly. But those are my thoughts on The Sunlit Night. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.